We're here today to talk about the High Desert Training Center and the uh, role that was played by the High Desert Manufacturers Council in Victor Valley. I would like to introduce uh, the, some of the main players uh, in, in this endeavor. Craig, uh, Frank Castanos, who's the Director of Instruction uh, Workforce Programs at Victor Valley Training. And uh, to, in, in the middle, we have Steve Terrell, who is the um, maintenance manager, and he's also co-founder of the uh, association here, of the training center, uh, who is, works for Mitsubishi. And um, all the way to my right, Eric Schmidt, president of Esquadrum, in, is a high desert um, company here in Victor Valley. Gentlemen, thank you for, for agreeing to get together today. Uh, the High Desert Training Center is quite an accomplishment that the three of you have really helped put together. Uh, Steve Terrell, I know that uh, you saw a need. Uh, you were associated with the with MCIE down in the in the uh, valley and down on the lower part of the <coughs> Inland Empire. Uh, but as a manufacturer, tell us a little bit about what you felt was the issues. What were the issues that you needed to solve in terms of creating a new additional center up here? Well, frankly, the, uh, the biggest issue was uh, travel up and down the Cajon Pass. Uh, for many of our residents in the high desert, uh, we have some um, economic challenges for having reliable transportation and a uh, means to get uh, down the pass uh, truly was an inconvenience and a, and a challenge for those that are trying to learn a skilled trade and the skilled trades that we offered at the Intech Center. So based upon input from the Intech Center and a cooperation with Victor Valley College, we were collaboratively able to put together a, a plan for a training center in the high desert. Uh, the first step of that was to uh, acquire equipment and that equipment was the training aids that were gonna be required for the training center. Uh, that training uh, aids were replicated from the Intech Center. So we basically uh, purchased the exact same equipment that they had. Uh, the second part of that was to try to find a location for the training center to be located. Uh, there was uh, some available space. There was a, a measure that the uh, residents of the high desert had passed to try to open a training center. Uh, the location for that training center did not fit logistically with uh, where it would be easily accessible to the majority of the residents. Um, we looked at the lower campus of Victor Valley College. Uh, it didn't have the space requirements. So I reached out to a, uh, another manufacturer in the high desert, uh, Eric Schmidt, and he was uh, very um, generous in looking at some available buildings at the old March Air Force Base. Mm. Uh, at the time, it was uh, managed by a, a group, and uh, he was able to acquire an entire building and then donate uh, about 26,000 square feet of that building uh, to Victor Valley College in a lease agreement. And we were able then to uh, get Victor Valley College to donate the funds or acquire the funds to allow for the renovations that met with the state requirements for uh, ADA and other um, avenues. And the training center was then um, formed. The equipment was brought into place. Instructors were provided. And we did our cohorts for the training center. Uh, that allowed uh, incumbent workers and in the near future, uh, new employees will be able to utilize that training center. So again, it was a collaborative effort between uh, private and uh, business mm -hmm. and the county and the community college district. So without the two gentlemen to my right or left, it would have been very difficult to get done. 
and through their joint efforts, it did get done. So, but this didn't, this didn't take a month or two. You've been working on this for a long time. Tell us about the time process. And so the history involved there uh, goes back to probably 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in 2023. Yeah. Um, we, I originally, uh, as a member, I'm, I'm an executive board member for the MCIE, Manufacturers Council of the Inland Empire. Uh, very involved with the Intech Center and the training program uh, and the curriculum that was provided there. That gave me the uh, foundation to come up to the high desert and try to emulate that. As I've already mentioned, the travel between the high desert and the Inland Empire is a bit of a challenge. So I went before the Workforce Development Board and asked them for some money to acquire uh, the training equipment that was going to be necessary to duplicate the Intech Center. I also went before Victor Valley uh, College Board of Trustees and asked them for money and the opportunity to provide this training center. Um, through that uh, persistence, I would say, uh, we were able to continue rolling that uh, boulder up the hill until we finally uh, reached the summit and we were able to purchase the equipment we were able to find a location for it. Uh, overall, I'd say that that uh, training process was about three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it took some duration in order to be able to put this together. And I think that uh, we want everyone to know and understand that these are large projects that take a lot of time in order to put together. It takes a great deal of commitment from the private industry, it takes a great deal of commitment from the community college district. Uh, and it takes somebody to continue to push that rock up the hill. Yeah. And Eric, you, uh, you jumped into this thing with both feet. <laughs> and um, to, to, to take on sort of the mantle of going out and trying to find a physical location, uh, that, 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 I mean, that's a real challenge in itself. And <clears throat> we, we had the fortune with the Intech Center to be able to have uh, a, a similar situation, but f with an existing building that was not being used. Um, tell us a little bit about how you went through the process. What were you thinking when you thought you might be able to go get this much space for this project? Well, tr truth be told, um, uh, my business partner and I, uh, Kevin Mahaffey, he's the co-founder of Big Squadron. Um, he and I, uh, our roots come from uh, community colleges. Mm -hmm. Um, he and I both believe uh, wholeheartedly workforce development. We're also, even though we're, we're trained engineers and we have an engineering company, we also believe um, firmly in the not everyone has to go to a four-year university concept. And there's a real opportunity for uh, vocational, especially high-end um, uh, vocational training. And we, we saw as a company that, 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 that we, we had that need and others did as well. Um, so along that process, um, as we were looking for new opportunities for growing our business, um, there was uh, an opportunity that availed itself to us um, at Southern California Logistics Airport, uh, which is at the old George Air Force Base. And, um, uh, and that building uh, was originally, was originally um, donated as part of uh, a, a prior company who had owned that. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so when we were looking to purchase that building, we knew that that was in place um, with the college, uh, kind of a long-term commitment there. It was a 10-year commitment. Um, uh, we had no reservations about not only buying the building, but also buying that, that what some people would consider a liability, but for us, we saw it as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, because um, we could do one thing that, that was hard to do, which was guarantee a place where the seed of these ideas from, from Steve and, and others uh, could germinate and we knew we could guarantee that it could take root and for 10 years under the watchful leadership of those like Frank um, could actually grow. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's probably a little oversized right now. But uh, I think our, our vision is to grow it into that space. Room to grow. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right, room to go. Um, but ultimately, it really, was, um, it really was a need that needed to be addressed. And Dr. Wagner from the community college uh, was looking for um, locations uh, valley-wide, um, and, uh, and there just 
wasn't the right place, and in the end, this place uh, worked out perfectly. Um, my company is Squadron. We're very happy to be involved in it. Um, we're benefactors mm -hmm. from this process, um, but we're also part of this community. We have been part of this community for many, many years. So we like to say we invest in people, property, and prosperity. Mm -hmm. And this fell right in line with that mantra. Oh, great, good, good explanation. And so between the equipment and the facility, all you needed is somebody to run it who knew what they were doing, right? Tell us, Frank, a little bit about um, your early involvement, and then tell us about wh where you are today and where you're gonna be in a year. Yeah, absolutely. So, or five years. Five years, okay. <laughs> so where we are today, um, we are, <clears throat> we're very excited. We're very active with uh, workforce development type trainings. Uh, we have programs that focus on both students seeking employment with uh, companies, but also trainings that are for existing employees at uh, in, uh, industry sites to, to get upskilling in certain topics. So we have training space dedicated for our aviation maintenance program. Uh, we've got classrooms there where they conduct their, uh, their lectures uh, for those topics and then they go down the street to our lab space for the, uh, the lab components for that. Uh, we have a space dedicated for our commercial driver's license program where we've got a, a trucking simulator uh, to help the students you know, practice a little bit more hands-on simulation before they actually hop in the actual trucks. Um, we have space dedicated for our OSHA safety uh, components as well. Uh, it's highly desired by like I said, both students that are seeking employment, but also companies are sending us some of their staff to get certifi certified in these areas as well. Um, one of the newer exciting initiatives that we have going on is our uh, Metallica Scholars Initiative uh, through All Within My Hands uh, Foundation, which is the band Metallica. Uh, they helped um, through a grant us to get our forklift training program uh, really? off the ground, which we started there at the High Desert Training Center. Now, there's an interesting partnership, right? Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, so that's, that's been very exciting. We've been getting students um, certified in uh, OSHA, forklift, as well as uh, CDL uh, fee support as well. Um, we've done uh, apprenticeship-related trainings. Uh, one of the first partners we brought in was General Atomics through the Electronics Technician Apprenticeship Program. Uh, we've offered electronics courses, computer information science classes there as well. And uh, one of the more important programs there as well as our Industrial Maintenance Mechanic Program. And in that program, we have a couple different levels. Uh, the first level is for students who are seeking employment. Um, it's for students that they know they want to work in their hands, they know they're interested in, in this industry, but they don't know specifically what's that next step. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of an exploratory class uh, where we get the students that are interested. Uh, we invite companies uh, from different industry sectors to come speak to the students at the site, as well as we take them on field trips to their site so they could see the work happening uh, in real time. Uh, and then we also have a version of that that we do for incumbent workers where uh, industry partners can send us their existing employees for upskilling through apprenticeship as well to gain additional skills and certifications. Yeah. Well, this is certainly an exciting uh, uh, conclusion to the, all of the work that all of you've done. And uh, thank you three gentlemen and all of the others, of course, who have partnered uh, with them in order to accomplish this. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.